boys, 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 look what I found. It's a fucking rhythm game. And this one is a banger. So, this is one of my first rhythm games, which might be a given from uh, my other types of content. Yeah, I might have a hard on for uh, Metroidvania and roguelike games, but um, the rhythm game genre hasn't really been the genre I've played the most. It's like the genre for me where you want to get into it, but it it's really it's really hard for you get started there hasn't really been a game that really uh, brought me into the game sure i've played the classics like guitar hero and so on but there hasn't really been a game where i could continue like a, a, or get a passion for rhythm games but holy shit this game blew me away yeah so since it's one of my first rhythm games um i was kind of bad at the start but at least you get the content where I hit uh, most of the keys, I guess. <laughs> okay, so the gameplay. That's one button. You press the space bar. And not gonna lie, <laughs> that was one of the things that put me off at the start before I bought the game. But when I got into the game, Holy fuck, they do a good job of providing great gameplay with only one button to press. Like, you, you would think that it would be really boring, but they do an insane job of pulling the player in and creating an entire experience with each song. This game even has a story. This adds comedic relief, which is fantastic. And it's low-key banger. It adds another layer, which really helps bring this entire game together. Like you, the premise is that you're a doctor, or well, you're a finger pressing a button. Anyway, <laughs> you use the rhythm to help people with heart problems, and that that's. That's that. And through and through the story, you learn new mechanics. Yes, yes, that's mechanics in a game where you press one button. Because different people have different heart problems. And I really don't want to spoil the uh, variation in this game because some of these levels are actually insane and are better experienced for the first time. But um, you can have my shit post as a teaser. There's even more, you can customize the hand. Like look, you can take a brush, pick a color, and then just paint over the sleeve. And you get a nice painting. Get this nice customized hand. 
that looks like shit, but it's your hand. Your own well-designed hand with pink and black. The music in this game? Fantastic. You've got everything from fucking samurai dubstep, like what the fuck, to lofi beats, cafe music, and you even got some. Wow. <laughs> you got some goddamn cowboy, cowboy looking ass kind of music. Like what's not to like here? Now, as you need for all modern rhythm games is a way for the uh, community to create new levels or new tracks which can be played by others and this game also has that which really secures the future and some of these levels are actually insane because there's so much you can do with the level editor like take a look at some of these So yeah, this game is a fucking banger. You got simplicity, you got great music, you got insane creativity in every single track. And what the hell, you can customize your hand. It's customizable. Like it's, it's like adding pitting a dog to a game. It's 10 out of 10, throw it away. And it's also pretty cheap, by the way. Um, it's kind of it is thirteen euro or dollar, something like that, and you get some of the most fantastic hours of gameplay for that price. So you walk up to your bro and you're like, "Bro, look at the space bar," and he says, "That's a nice space bar, bro." And then you tap that spacebar and he says, that's insane, bro. Do it again. Then you slam the spacebar and he faints from satisfaction. That's how satisfying it is. Slamming the spacebar in this game. <laughs> <laughs> 